up on that. Maybe we'll send me a link.
We're not going to play the introductory fanfare to the Star Spangled Banner. Okay, so end of Ukrainian release, drum roll, and then the pickup to the Star Spangled Banner. But we're not going to do that tonight. Okay, all right, Ukrainian. Here we go. <laughs> So, really, the most important thing happening at the beginning is going to be this this bass line, which is very light. But I do want you to do the crescendos and decrescendos along with the rest of the band. Then the side business just comes from these long notes that that grow and then die away and grow and then die away. So let's let's see how that goes. Yep. This is the beginning. Thank you. 
which is good. Now, your database from with the kids, right? Yeah, that's where we're going to have a real baseball. We're going to have a real one. Yeah, yeah. But tonight, our kids are even playing baseball. I'm going to have Right now. Got it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't see it. I couldn't. Got it. I understand. Okay. Good. Um, play a little stronger, just so we have a little bit more sense of pulse. Uh, I told you that it was not a fast march, but I would like you to lean forward just a little bit. It's just kind of a little bit on our heels. And I'd like to be a little bit more on the toes, okay? So that uh, we're just we're just kind of keeping the energy up. Now, there's there's one thing. It happens quite often. Uh, I'll just use one place as an example. Can you find? Do you have measure numbers? No. Okay, that's all right. Um, after the rehearsal, uh, rehearsal C. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight bars after C. You've got, well, starting four before that, you've got a long crescendo. Does everybody see that long crescendo? And it builds, it builds from, uh, it's measure 79. You've got a dotted quarter. Some people have eighth notes. But it builds to, ba-da, okay? You're not carrying the long note. Right, the, the measure that, it's measure 79. It's, it's, the measure that has the 16th in it. That has to carry through with your energy. In other words, it's kind of going, it's getting big, and then it dies, and then it explodes with the half note. And that's not what we want. We don't want that. We want a continuous so Do you get the idea? And the only reason I'm mentioning is, is that it happens over and over. And so frequently we have to do this. Let's start at C. C. <laughs> and I'm just going to do just a tiny bit quicker. Yeah, C. Can I turn this off for a place? Sure. Is it here? My father looks like he needs a hockey band or something. Is he that expensive? I forgot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we go. Okay, letter C. Here we go. With a good full sound. Okay, so I want you to remember it as we go through it in other times. Now, the other thing is, as we come to some of these phrase endings, I would really like us to back down. Now, I realize this is not acoustically perfect <laughs> by any means. Um, but just show me a dynamic difference as you date crescendo into some of these phrase endings. <clears throat> you see that, for example, before D, um, we would be playing fairly soft six before D. You get that? And the body of that is very nice. I liked all of that. I think that's good. Trumpets, you're doing a good job. You, you kind of stick out. So, so. He is in both. Very, very strong, 
Couple forte from everyone. And then they soften up, and then if you would, soft and pretty, cat's paws. And it doesn't have to be a whole lot softer, but it doesn't have to be a lot lighter. Okay. All right, so this is E. Watch out for your key change. <laughs> Here we go. This is letter E. Set. <laughs> Okay, 
Here we go. Here we go. So you guys have played this a bunch, and I have, I have done it a lot. Um, it, was, it was kind of like a supervision at the high school, thinking that we would do this every year at the end of the year for seniors. So if I don't know it by now, I never will. Um, all right, here we go. You have to watch that because I'm going to twist it around a little bit. All right. <sighs> softer it's it's this size next note is this size the next note is this size and it continues to grow and when I feel like it's grown enough I'll let you go on to the next note <laughs> here we go Ready? I know you guys are better you can start together just boom oh, okay
Okay. Uh, the woodwind part sounded, I was going like, this sounds really strange. And then I figured out, is that I couldn't hear you because you're, you're so far away. Right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that's, that's always. Uh, <laughs> Are we doing, uh, as a kid I used to play this and I used to have, I used to be so scared of it, my brother probably swallowed up with no problems, but I always had trouble with the, the, horn, the horn thing at 41, this is so treacherous. Who, who's doing it? Okay, good. Hey, how are you doing? Um, okay, so you're doing that with the alto, so we're doing an alto flute horn. Okay, I just wanted to know what, what we were trying to and then you're going to do this as a flute solo. It says first speed when we get into 33 with the woodwind thing, but I like to take it a little faster because it gives me an opportunity to do something a little different on the piece than just the slow stuff. It freshens it. So not real fast, just a little bit. All right. And I, um, I think we can probably start there. Would you like more? Well, I was kidding with moving my stand, but actually I did it on purpose. I, I want to hear you one more time and see that fit. And then if I feel like <coughs> when I'm standing here, if I still think it's not enough to balance the rest of the little bit. So let's try it. Let's try it again. Okay, so uh, let's start at 32. Here we go. Yeah, okay. And.
been doing it, huh? Yeah, because yeah, you're, you're, you're doing it. The, the actual climax isn't kind of where you think it is. It's actually a few beats. You go, pom, 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 and you think that's it, but it's not. It's pom, 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 pom. Beat three is where it is. But once you've reached that, I want you to play the next four beats, actually the next five beats, at that level, if you can. In other words, you, you stretch out the moment. Let's just do that one time, and then I'll leave it alone. Can I see? Okay. Yeah. It just went off, so we'll give you this one. At 56, if you've got this accented quarter notes, I want more punctuation to the front of the note. Accented quarter notes, more punctuation. 56, and here.
So, I was talking about Kepler just to remember where we were before, and I think I. It is a kind of about, but not quite that. Yeah. So, who sets the tempo? Hopefully, the conductor, but who really sets the tempo? That would be the horns and the afterbeats. And if the horns and the afterbeats are slow, all of a sudden we have no choice but to slow down. So try to be a little bit more on top of the beat. And bup, and bup, and bup. I got a lot of experience playing afterbeats. And it's not a whole lot of fun, but it is really important. Okay? So, uh, beautiful drum and solo. Thank you so much. Wonderful. And love the euphoniums, but I would like to hear them better. And that means that we're going to have to play considerably softer at 17 <coughs> in all of the upper words. And I know you've got a lot of stuff to play there. But we've got to try to make it as light and quiet as possible. <coughs> so it's mezzo piano on my score. I think you think the piano would be good. And we just play nice and light. And if you need So that all of those spots you can sink into the rest of it just nice and light. Can we try the beginning again? Here we go, Horace. So whenever you have a tie, like you do the first note of 17, flip it and go on, and then it is followed right after that by a dotted eight. And if you play that dotted eight too long, all of a sudden we're going to come. Da, 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 la, ti, da, 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 da. Go ahead and shorten that dotted eight, and I think it will come. Can we start two bars before 17? Two bars before 17. If you enter late on that, all of a sudden, boy, it's really hard to keep the flow going. 
So try to be on top of the beat there and don't enter with that finger light. And try not to hit quite so loud. Double forte, I am not so sure about that on, on something that's this noty and staccato. Just worry about being nice and short and on top. So we go right now from 33. Here we are, right on 33. Good luck. Set. Act. <laughs>
Okay, we're going to have to be able to have a nice gentle start. Can we do it with help or something? No, okay. no.
kind of pushed you before 20, because man, that is a long <laughs> phrase, huh? And so I'm having, I, don't even be upset if you don't want to do that. Right. Y'all can't I think about going. Am I out of time? You did 39 seconds. Oh, I got 39 seconds. Oh, oh, seconds. Oh, <laughs> Let's do 29 to the end. Here we go. 29 to the end. And, oh, I'm sorry. 28 is what I meant. 28. Right on 28. And set. And yes. And one.
but then when we come in, let's go. And these, these uh, half notes, each one gets louder, okay, and pretend us through the line. Just the woodwinds here, 
Um, and then you guys can come back in. Yeah, the first ending. No, because I want them back in at C. Is that the, is that the interlude? That's the little interlude that, that, that's there. So that would be the first ending. Okay, so that's the first ending. So come back in and then we'll interlude there. So right here, you're out for just a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, trio's fine. Does that make sense, everyone? If it's not, we can fire out and put everybody in, but I just think it'll be a nice color change. Okay? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs>
forte. It doesn't have to be. It can be nice and light. It's kind well, of like a little to nod me? to like uh, Austrian and European. No, like, you know, go bar music. <laughs> okay, or a little you know that hymn music, uh, folk tune and stuff. Okay, so it can be nice and light. Don't play a double forte. Um, real articulate. The Yes, I did want you coming in before that. Yeah, I do because half the brass came in and half of them were still waiting. So let's do the trio one more time. I just um, I'll give you as big a few as I can. Okay. Um, Seven bars before the first ending. Okay. Seven bars before the first. And if you have a pickup to it, play the pickup. Yeah, that pickup. Now you put in C, E, B, C, D, G. That part right there. All right. Got enough love for Okay, trio one more time. First time. Okay. First time trio. One, two.
not the same more hurtful marketing kind of thing. Let's switch to Ness and Dorma. Great, okay, wonderful. And how much time do we have? Nine minutes. Five, good. So nine. Just, nine, okay. So let's get straight through this. Um, Y'all are talking so much, he's having to holler even with the, with the thing, okay? Does somebody have a question? Please, we got, we got so much to do. If you've got a question, raise your hand, you know, and we'll give you time if you need it. But we just, we've got lots of talking going on. It's just not helping us. Please. We'll do a little bit of push and pull, but the big thing is that, you know, it's a, it's a very typical uh, center of fashion. The one fermata that's not written Towards the very end, the Moto Alegrando y Crescendo, the Vincero, uh, are the words for there. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six before the end. We're going to take some time on the last beat. Okay? And if you've ever heard the opera or listened to the aria, you'll know that's, that's very typical of taking some time there. Okay? Everything else is pretty well marked for modern uh, tempos and different things. Okay? Okay, from the beginning. Don't worry about the double piano dynamic, just play one. Thank you. 
symphony, I can have even more of you um, in the Dean Shadow's plot. That's right there at 32, at the arrival point of 32. <laughs> Just big, 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 big roll. Ah. Yeah. Cool. Seventeen.
and somebody was, I forget, somebody texted me about, well, you know, we're talking because we're trying to help each other and all, but we just, you know, there's got to be a limit to that, or it just becomes uh, invasive. And and normally we have more time, and I know lately we haven't been taking time, and I like letting y'all help each other, honestly, but we just, we don't have as much time, you know, so we'll just, you know, when we get to chance, check with the special leaders about things and stuff. Okay, so I wanted to start the Gershwin. First of all, wasn't that fun with all the pranks? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was so cool. <laughs> and they're all so wonderful in their own ways, you know. Um, okay, so we're going to skip around on the Gershwin because, you know, we're obviously trying to get lots in. What time is it, by the way? 9.08. 9.08, okay. We're just a little bit All right, yeah, we'll go close, close to... 9.30 and then get out of here as quick as possible. All right, so uh, once we get to some of the slow music, we'll skip that even though it's really fun. All right. So, you ready? Oh, no, sorry, I gotta switch glasses. Oh, okay. Ready? A one, two, three. Way more dynamics. 119 is soft. 
you know, really calm down there. And then, ba, boo, ba, ba. And then here's 123. Boo, ba, boo, ba. Every once, every single time you play, you're softer on that. Okay. Okay. You good? Let's do that again. Um, we don't need to. Go. Well, there's one spot we really need to rehearse, but we don't have time. Ninety-five, everybody. Would y'all just check the, check that, and put your slashes in? You know, on the beat, off, off the beat. That is the question. Okay. Let's go. One oh five, please. Ready? One oh five. A one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Four bars from the 
what it was. It was um, if you have the rhythm, eighth rest, quarter note with an accent, two sixteenth notes. Uh, be careful that we don't want that to be long right there. You have one da 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 one da 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 da. So accent it this way, not this way. Okay, is that it? Okay. Uh, uh, one reminder from me. Uh, just make sure again we keep the. Um, the Freezing. dynamics going, but we don't want to get real loud, just make it real, real smooth as you crescendo, day crescendo, and then don't let yourself um, slow down as we take the key change at letter F, move into the second song, it's just driving straight ahead the whole time we're there, okay? That was kind of great tonight, too. Mm. Yeah. There we go.